Hello! <laughs> Give me one second, sir. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, a lot's a lot's happened in the past few months. It's it's been um, it's been crazy. You know, there's been stuff going on in the community, stuff in my personal life, stuff with uh, my work and the house, and it's all just yeah, it's just Good roller things, coaster, though. complete roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Being honest, I still can't quite comprehend the shift I've had. Uh, yeah. To this space this place i'm in now you know when i when i delve when i sit well not delve deep but when i sit here and really think about it i almost get really emotional because i think you know i remember how i used to be and just by the small words that people say and the small things the small subtle shifts i've made yeah. um they've had massive effects for me massive yeah, I mean, at the moment, I've gone from sort of doing the 90-day video journey, that round one, which I really sort of really did discover myself. I wouldn't say straight away, but it, yeah. it took it took time to discover myself. But but through that, and then leading into my round two, and now starting like my own vlogs I do on my channel on YouTube. It's, I'm just a completely different person who I was. <laughs> um, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. So now it's about you, John. I love the stuff that you're doing and, and I'm amazed at just how all over the place you are. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not plan to join or do something like the SFM um, when I did. It's only through the way the SFM is set up and, you know, by, you know, going all the way to, to black and all the training and everything, it's just, you have to get on with it. You have to do it. And you, when you're, you know, in this community and you're, you're immersed in everything that's going on, you want to do nothing but thrive and grow yeah. and everything else in life all of a sudden starts to certain things start to become very insignificant um, and other things become more apparent and you know, I've had more realizations like I've shut myself off from my family a lot this past year and I've realized that actually that's something that really needs attending and it's, it's this house that's taken over for me you know yeah. so yeah yeah but i've never been massive on social media i've only ever gone on youtube because it's videos and you just watch videos and stuff but there's so many creators on there that i follow and i just think damn these guys are just cool and something that i'm realizing now is that they're only cool because they've got their own style they're doing their own thing they're being authentic they're being real they're doing more they're doing more than the average person you know I mean I've spoken to a few people recently and they're like you know how do you do it how do you do it how do you do it just like you say do you know what I do I don't watch TV in the evenings I don't watch Netflix uh -huh. I don't waste I don't waste my time um, I wake up at five in the morning and sometimes I'll go to bed at well Let's exclude last week because they were some really late <laughs> nights. <laughs> but normally, normally sort of midnight. You know, I only, I only really want about five hours sleep. Um, I'm very much the opinion that you can supplement um, sleep for exercise. So if you get up at five and you go for a run for an hour, that counts as like six hours sleep. So <laughs> I do want to do more. The house, the house are like chains on me at the moment. I'm. I, I need to get this house finished and that's it's been a bit of a burden um, the past sort of six months since being here I really want to break through this barrier of trying to get the first floor completely finished um, so as I can basically move upstairs it's all crisp and clean I've got my office my studio nice bedroom bathroom and I'm I'm in a good space again you know I mean this you're doing that all, all on your own yeah <laughs> oh. yeah. 
Yeah. It's tough, though, because I, I, I was doing a 72-hour week as well, um, 72 hours a week at work. But, um, and doing that. And coming home, working on the house, then diving into my business, then going to bed, then waking up and doing it all again. <laughs> but I, I, I crashed pretty hard doing that. Um, once, once last year, which was where when I sort of um, discovered the SFM, um, because through crashing hard, I literally did. I broke my foot through doing it. <laughs> just through, yeah, just through being completely overtired. I was, I was worn out. Um, I was trying to refit the staircase in the hallway, and yeah, I, I didn't even. I was just overtired. I fell backwards off the ladder, and yeah, broke my foot. But. Again, it happened for a reason. Someone was trying to tell me something. I log on to YouTube when I'm there on the sofa with my broken foot, scanning around, trying to find out what I want to do in my life. I've always been someone who wants to travel the world and do a proper vlog and go from country to country, meeting all different people from all different cultures and walks of life. Um, for me, who's a massive introvert, to be able to put myself out there in the world and go and meet anybody and everybody and just have a complete adventure would be incredible so I started looking at all these sort of videos of like adventure bloggers and all this sort of thing and trying to make income while you're traveling and then this video pops up the rest is history here I am so yeah